my. Exactly. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. We didn't get the vacuum oh on the way here. There's no space. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. Leah and Neil have been living together for four years. Two years ago, Leah convinced Neil to make her lifelong dream of living out of a van a reality. At first, the two cruised down the freeway of love, but now they want out of the van and out of each other's lives. When did the van become a little tight for you? Between him, the dog, all the stuff in there. Hang on. Yeah, she complains about it. You got a dog? It. Yeah, yes, we have, we a, have dog. a dog. She likes to brag about the simple fact that she had sex with a fireman on top of the fire truck in the fire Oh, my truck. God. I'm really? like, really? Leah says she's tired of carrying the load in this relationship. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Leah Bragg and Neil Ross. Ms. Bragg and Mr. Ross, the two of you have been together, living together for four years. You two don't want to live together anymore. Consequently, you have come here to divorce court. Uh, Ms. Bragg, you are seeking $950 from Mr. Ross, which you say is the value of a van that you ought to be awarded uh, as you do leave this relationship. We will talk about that momentarily, but before we do, Ms. Bragg, I'm going to ask you to tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here seeking the value of the van today. I'm here, Your Honor, because I have literally, I had a dream since I was a little girl to live in a van. I wanted a carefree, stressless life. You know, I wanted to live in a van. I wanted to be able to travel and do what I want, you know? Not a camper, not a, not, not, not a It was in the budget. It was in the budget, Your Honor. It was in the budget at the time. It was in the budget. Were there financial now, well, aid money, of course. How old were you when you decided you wanted to live out of a van? I've wanted to live in a van ever since I was like a little, like like a, like a 10 years old. I Did don't you know. see it in a movie? Did you know a friend I, uh, that probably, had it? I, I think I saw it in a movie, probably. Some little traveling, maybe that little Chevy Chase uh, <laughs> right, movie. Right, right, with, right. You know. So you've always dreamed to be in a van. What did you believe you'd be doing in the van? I mean, would you be traveling? Yeah, or? traveling. I mean, I wanted to see, I wanted to see the country. I wanted to see the world. I mean, a lot of people say, wait till you get older, but I mean, why, why be old and be crippled and in a van? Travel? Exactly. Why not be young and being able to go party and stuff? I mean, 80 years old, now, I don't want to go. Now, Mr. Ross, when you met Ms. Bragg. Yes, ma'am. Did, was she in the van? No. She had an apartment. She had she an apartment. She was going to college. They was in, going to college. nine yards. Yeah, she had, a, she had a future, unlike me. I mean, I made my choices, whatever. But, you know, she had 15 hours uh, in college hours left to do. Instead, she looks at me and goes, let's get a van. I said, really? Because I'm a dreamer. You want to get a van I mean, for I'm a Like, why not an RV? Because you're going to complain about the space. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you're going to have most of your stuff in there. I mean, what? You had 15 hours left to get a college degree, yeah. and you walked away to, I'm a to dreamer. live out of a van. I'm a dreamer, uh, She doesn't Your Honor. finish stuff. That's what her problem is. She can dream That's not my there, problem. There are dreams, and then there are... Well, it was doable, Your Honor. I let, mean... Let me ask you this, Mr. Ross. You seem like a rational person. Yes, How did she present that to you in a I'm manner getting... that would allow you... All right to get in the van I'm, with her. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, maybe I'm a guy. I mean, of course, I wouldn't mind living in a van either, you know, to be dead honest with you, but. Is that a guy thing, uh, Joe, I mean, living in a van? Not with me. <laughs> Joe, you know you wanna live in a van. Anyway, <laughs> but, I mean, to not have the responsibilities like she said, you know, I mean. Living it's, I don't, I don't grid, have to work. It's a work. lifestyle not, choice. Not, right, exactly. I don't exactly. have to work a nine to five job and have, have to answer to a boss every day of my life. Go back to an apartment that I've spent seven, eight hundred dollars for a month to sleep in, just to go back to my job again. Let me ask you this: How does one, how does one finance living out of a van? Oh man, ready labor. Job, I mean, Craigslist. Craigslist. I mean, I'm usually I make on Craigslist. I make seventeen dollars an hour right now on call. I work for myself. Yeah, I want to find you a job. I move people, of course. When I find a You're job. You're mover, and so you move, right. and you do seventeen dollars an hour. Yes, so you had no trouble economically supporting That's this rare, lifestyle. That's rare, though, Your Honor. It is he rare. I will admit. Find, mm -hmm. He doesn't always find a job on Craigslist. Right. It's sparse. Well, it's... when did the van become a little tight for you? When did it? When did it start be, to become problematic? Between him, the dog, all the stuff in there. Hang on. Yeah, she complains about. You got about... a dog? Yeah, yes, we, have, we a dog. have a dog. We have a small dog. Yes. But he's awesome, With though. the two of you. Let's yes. not bring the dog in this. Come on. Now you can I'm, see no, it's, I mean, it's... With all due respect, it's the too dog's much. awesome. I didn't the sign up for No, the dog is awesome. Dog? This is, this is about me and Leah. Leave the dog alone. What, what, it, leave the dog alone. No, 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 Please, no, Your Honor, leave no, the dog alone. No, no, I'm, I'm, listen, 
Listen. I know. I know you're worried about the I dog's like, well-being, like but he got kibbles people. and bits he eating better than we are. I guarantee you the dog is awesome. Okay? The dog well, in my van sure is, is great. Mr. Ross, and, I, and I'm not... I, I'm not gonna badmouth the dog. All right, I'm just Don't making sure. It. Pluto is good. You can badmouth that one. I'm not gonna badmouth anybody yet. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I'm just on. making sure. I'm sorry. How big is the dog? He is about 30 pounds, roughly. He's and part, he lives in the van with yeah, you. Yeah, he's part he's part greyhound, terrier, and lab. He's awesome. Very hyper, just like Didn't his father. Did he start out in the van with you, or did you get him as you were traveling around in the van? Uh, actually, we got him when we had the apartment before the van. Yes. Okay. So, so of course, he went in the van with you. Yes, definitely. How long was it good for? Couple I mean, months. How, how long couple, did you enjoy? It? Couple months until they started driving me up the wall. Yeah. What, what 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 happened? He's 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 okay. First of all, he can't hold a job. That's why he does this whole little Craigslist thing. But he you did, guys are in a van. Didn't you want to be free? I and wanted free to be no free. Job. But it's like when you do have a good job. I mean, for God's sakes, hold on to it. When he does have a job, he gambles. He spends all the money on gambling. This man has the biggest gambling problem I've ever seen anybody have. He buys lottery name. tickets. Lottery tickets are everywhere, like they're receipts. I they're in our van. The slot machine and it they're says, under the Neil, put a dollar in it. They're in the wallet. They're everywhere. M Mr. Ross, do, do you gamble a lot? I've calmed down a little bit. No, you, did you haven't. Think, well, no. Well, hang on, Mr. Ross, did you think you may have had a problem, a gambling problem, or the, you just living think in it's New Orleans? You really yes, like definitely. Oh, yeah. He still had, has a problem. They call my name. They're like, Neil, put a dollar in me. I'm like, okay, sure. When Divorce Court continues, has Leah had one too many tantrums in the van? She starts just kicking. Just, I'm talking kicking at the dashboard. I'm going to show you pictures. We're going to go out there with your camera. We're going to take care of this. And later, Judge Lynn and the litigants take a field trip. What now, how about the window shield? She did threw a shoe I accidentally did that. I, 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 I threw accidentally it. my butt. Do you wish you had listened to your mother? Are you ready to dump your mate? If you are, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of Leah Bragg, who has come to court asking for a dissolution of cohabitation from her boyfriend, Neil, because she says she's tired of living in a van. But Neil claims that the van was Leah's idea. Do you have a thing for cars? They're freedom to me. You like to travel. Yeah. You should have picked an RV. At night, when you sleep, do you have a tent or something that you can put up, or do you sleep in the van? Well, we sleep in the we van. There's the a twin-size mattress in, the in there. And there all of your belongings and a doll. Under it, mm -hmm. over it, whole nine yards, it's all up in it. Just it's like a girl's nightmare. No, it's not. She said she wanted it. It, yeah, it was it. your dream. Because... She says it's too small. She says it's too small and she doesn't keep it clean. Oh, now here's there it the is, right there. Here's, here's the van. We even brought it. We live in it. Why waste it? Why, you know? That's her stuff right there. That's not all my stuff. That That's your all her stuff, stuff. There's Pluto, though. That is, that is oh, your clothes. There's Pluto. Hanging. You keep, my boy. He keeps breaking the yeah. shelf thing, so we it's can't even put our dog. clothes in there. Pretty much. I mean, I wouldn't mind living in it if it was tell organized. Me when, tell me the first time you knew, Mr. Ross, that the van was not going to continue to work out. Tell me the first problem that uh, you had. The thing that, sh that gets me about her is that she says there's not enough space, uh -huh. and she gets mad. One time she tripped over to bungee. And I'll show you footage. She what tripped bungee? over. Man, we got bungees closing doors left and right, okay? <laughs> it probably wouldn't even pass inspection right now. But, so you close the yeah. door with bungees? They don't lock on their own? Nah. They're too heavy. <laughs> they keep breaking. They're too heavy. They keep breaking. They keep breaking. The van's So you bungee jump. them together. I bungee them together, and basically she'll trip over a bungee. The other night, she basically, last week, matter of fact, she tripped over a bungee trying to get out to go use the bathroom, and she couldn't even get out of the car because she tripped. She sits down in the passenger seat. I'm going to give you a visual. She starts just. Chicken. Just, I'm talking chicken at the dashboard. I'm going to show you pictures. We're going to go out there with your camera. We're going to take care of this. Ms. Ms. Bragg, now you wanted to be in a van. Wanted you, to live in a van. Hang on, hang so, on. And you know what her, size the van is. Tell her. Are you now distressed that you two are in such a small space together? She shouldn't Yes, be. because I can't deal with him. He's what crazy. What's wrong with him? He's crazy. Why can't she go out in the front hang yard on, and Mr. go Ross. walk outside? Mr. Ross, for, hang on. For one, he's Give addicted his... to porn. I can't help That's it. all this man he's does. I can't help it. It literally messes up our lifestyle. Okay. I can't help it. Let me ask you this. I have Just an issue. In the hey, gym, hey, hey, the bathroom, hey. logistically, back of the van. 
Let's, logistically, how does that work out in a van? Are we talking <laughs> internet? Are we talking? Yeah, he's got a smartphone. Paper. I got smart a good phone. imagination too. If I had none of that well, works, because she it. breaks my phone. You don't ever use your imagination. You always want to look at the girls. So he's, he's looking at, at porn in the van while you're in the van with. Yeah, with he'll wake up all asleep, yep. and then I'll wake up. Why not? And catch him on the phone. He's always on the phone. Are you guys ever scared in the van? Nope. No. Look at me, man. I'm not worried about that. Other than the porn and the gambling, which is a lot. Right. What a, what else about him has gotten on your nerves? He he can't keep a job, like he, I told you. He's a, he's. Do in you my travel opinion, he's a, in the van? Me, do what what? Do you travel in the van? Yeah. How are you going to keep a job? Anyone keep a job if you're traveling all the this time? This is in the past, Your Honor. It's a pattern that I have seen in his life that I've tried to be supportive of, and I, I get not wanting to answer to a boss and not right? wanting to work a boring job. But he literally cannot keep a job when he does have a job, and I've seen this pattern. And quite frankly, I'd like to have my relationship back with my family because my family can't stand me. Why and does your family not like him? My family met him, and. Um, Come to find out, he had dated one of my family members a long time ago that I didn't realize about. Apparently, there was a bunch of stuff that lies saying that he was a loser. They got back. So now nobody likes him. They thought I ran off to Colorado with him and forsook my family or whatever. So nobody likes him. I'm not invited to Christmas. I, I wasn't even invited to Christmas last year. Can, can I ask you a question, Ms. Bragg? You're in college. 15 was. hours away mm -hmm. from from graduating. Exactly. You try to fulfill a lifelong dream of going in a van. Do you think that their dislike of him is just ancillary to the whole thing that they just don't like the way you're living? When divorce court continues, does Leah take her fascination with vehicles a bit too far? She likes to brag about the simple fact that she had sex with a fireman on top of the fire truck in the fire. Oh my truck. god, I'm really? like, really? If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1 877 311 2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Neil Ross, who says he's had enough of living out of a van with girlfriend Leah, but will Neil be forced to pay half the value of the van? I understand that Blue Book has uh, varying degrees of, you know, with respect to condition, but I don't think they have a, a category for jacked up. No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. Mr. Ross, you say in your papers that she talks about her exes all the time. Tell me about that. For instance, she'll sit there, all right, she likes to brag about the simple fact that she had sex with a fireman on top of the fire truck in the fire Oh, my truck. God, I'm really? like, really? I mean, it's not that now big a deal. Bragg, are you bragging about having Pretty sex Pretty much, because every, no, every time, do real you quick, you Do you have a thing for vehicles? No, I mean, it's I'm, not the I'm vehicle. Oh, my God, I know the thing. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just the envy about having it with a firefighter. You tell me about your stories with your exes all the time. No, and I don't. All... She's lying. Yes, I already give her enough problems hey, with the whole hey, pleasure hey, thing. Hey, 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 I'm still interested in the automotive thing. All right, let's do that. <laughs> Do you have a thing for cars? I mean, do, do you find them intriguing, enticing? Is They're it, freedom to me. They're freedom you, to I you. I can travel. I love traveling. You like to travel. Yeah. You should have picked an RV. You should have uh, kept a job so that we could afford an RV. You'd Ms. Like Bragg, do you really want to leave me? I think Mr. Ross is more done with you than you are with him. No, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Are you done with him or are you done I'm with done the van with him, lifestyle? I'm done with the van. I'm done almost with the dog, but the dog's so cute that <laughs> he's like here, so I can't get rid of the dog out of my heart. But yeah, I'm done with him. I'm done with the van. I just want to get out. I want to be able to have my own apartment and start my life over. I would love to see the van and Pluto. All right. Awesome. So we will adjourn court momentarily right. while I take a look at where the two of you have spent the last two years of your life. Awesome. So momentarily, this court is adjourned. All rise. Court will be at recess. When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn gets an up close and personal look at the van. You got to see the uh, dashboard though that she messed up. There is no dashboard. No, exactly. She did it. What happened to the dashboard? Divorce Court returns with the case of Leah Bragg and Neil Ross, who want a dissolution of cohabitation after two years of living together in a van. So, oh my.
my. Exactly. <laughs> oh wreck, my. Eh? Oh my. We didn't get the vacuum oh on the way here. Yeah, there's no space. There's no space. Hello, Hello Pluto. Pluto. That's, That's the puppy. dog. That's now, Pluto. now I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna get close. He's fine. He ain't he's gonna bite you. Cool. He ain't gonna bite you. Beware, because he's got his stuff everywhere. Yeah. I see. Oh, there's the bed. Right. The whole twin bed in there. You got to see the uh, dashboard, though, that she messed up. There is no dashboard. No, exactly. She did it. What happened to the dashboard? I kicked it. Basically, she kicked it. What now, how about the window shield? She did threw you a, do that, too? She threw a I shoe accidentally did that. I, 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 no, I accidentally, my butt. I accidentally did it because I threw a shoe, and I didn't realize it was heading towards the windshield. Dang. It was a heel. The heel hit it. Any, any cleaning going on? Sometimes, what's, what's, the little, use? Little, what's the use? What's the point? I mean, we, we're not I mean, trifling, trifling, but I mean. There's no space. You can't even move around in there with a vacuum right. to, to vacuum it out. Plus, what happened dog? to the door? There's no, there's nothing on oh, the door. Oh, over there, I was trying to fix the window. Now the windows don't work, he so we got to put duct tape. He was trying to fix the window, so he took all. At least I tried. So you duct taped the window against Cause rain. Because this was, well, yeah. that and the cold, yes. Tip I don't know whether to be impressed or frightened, but okay. I don't know. Some people well, get scared. thank you very much. Bye, Pluto. They don't even park near this thing sometimes. They just look at it and go, oh, Lord. He's yeah. supposed to park okay. next to the vans. <laughs> All righty, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All rise. Court is back in session. You may be seated. Ms. Bragg and Mr. Ross, first of all, I want to thank you for the field trip. You're welcome. It was, it was entertaining. I've, I'm impressed that you two made it two years in there. <laughs> Me too. Uh, it was deep, it was small, it was rickety, and you have had a few temper tantrums in it. A few. So is he. She's like the Hulk in that sucker. Yeah. <laughs> How did you guys stay clean in that thing? Oh, a, the gym membership. I ain't gonna tell you which one, but a gym membership. You had a gym membership. We still got one now. Right? I don't stay stanky. I don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> Well, there was no funk involved nope. because when they first told me they wanted me to look at the van, I, I said, know. if it's funky, I'm not done. It looks weird, it, it looks but nasty, it, but, it, but, but it looks okay. Ms. Bragg, what is your next dream? Are My there any dream? automobiles involved? Or are, you, I, are you moving on from that? No, I want to I wanna get rid of this van, and I want my half of it so that I can go get an apartment, so that I can obviously start my get life it, over. And again. when you get in the apartment, what are you going to do? I have a job, unlike some people. Start March. Mr. Uh, hey, hey, Mr. Ross, hang on. What, that what are you going to do when you get in the I'm apartment? I'm going to get an apartment, and I want to probably go ahead and pursue my hair career since, I mean, obviously I wasn't able to continue that because this one lost his job and we had to lost She a lot. She knows she dropped out. She, we lost she her. dropped out of here. I, lost, dropped out. I dropped out because I had to she go to work. She might have done this and I it might look pretty good, to to but she dropped out yeah, of that. Because I had to go to work to support us because you weren't doing it. You one time for me. I can't see the back. You weren't doing it. It's a mohawk. I mean, it really wasn't put together all that great, but. Uh, it's all spread it's out. Interesting. It's, it. it's interesting. He loved it. It's interesting. I will say that. If it don't that. look good, she did it. So tell uh, me okay. what the value of the van is. How the value? I have the value. I have the blue book value. Could I see? Could I see that? That's now, the, uh, yeah. I understand that blue book has uh, really varying degrees of. You know, with respect to condition. You, you really can't do anything with it. But, uh, but I don't think they have a, a category for jacked up. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't. Plus, they really don't have one for conversion vans anyway. You know? And that bad boy's jacked up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She wants the same value worth, but at the same time, she's I the one I'm damaging the, the same suckers. Value. So how I am I supposed it. to I try to it. give her half of that? I want what I'm supposed Ms. to get out. You ain't gonna get, you're going to get 75 Ross. bucks because you keep tearing it up. Yeah. I would love to uh, be able to do something for you. I think you should both be able to get something out of the van, but I don't think there's anything there. I think they're going to charge you more to take it than they would, you know, for So there's nothing to award. It'll cost more money all, to, to all destroy All I would it. like to say is good luck, Godspeed, and there will be no recovery. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. After the show, Leah and Neil sold their van for $2,200 and agreed to split the money. But Leah accuses Neil of taking all the money and going off with a friend. She says he left her stranded in San Francisco and she had to have her family members send her money to get back to Baton Rouge. Leah is now in Louisiana with her family and has not spoken to Neil since the incident. We were unable to reach him for his side of the story. 